Let's play some Jeopardy Roulette. Not sure what I'm going to get. Could be the Jeopardy J6 game or a Jeopardy J6 game. Could be uh, Sports Jeopardy. I think Sports Jeopardy is on Saturday. Or maybe it's Teen Jeopardy. I don't know. Sports or Teen Jeopardy. Uh, but yeah, let's see. Alexa, let's play Jeopardy. This is Jeopardy. Thing in caps. And now, Ready for anything. Host, Teen Sports J6. Let's do it. Thanks, Johnny. Good evening, players. Thanks, Let's man. see what our clues are today. Let's see. I guess it's J6. The first Jeopardy category is word history. This word for nonsense comes from a Dutch word that meant soft dung. Repeat. Sock dung. Again, the category is word history. This word for nonsense comes from a Dutch word that meant soft dung. What is slapstick? No, that's incorrect. The correct response was what is poppycock? Today's second Jeopardy category is podcasts. This cable network's 30 for 30 series also produces original podcast documentaries. What is ESPN? Good job. Your third category is muses. You chirpy, the muse of music is often depicted playing this common wind instrument. What is a flute? Correct. Our fourth category is a NASDAQ fact. In 2017, Class B shares from this corporate owner of Paramount Pictures were removed from the NASDAQ 100. Repeat. Again, the category is a NASDAQ fact. Paramount owner? In 2017, Class B shares from this corporate owner of Paramount Pictures were removed from the NASDAQ 100. What is Sony? Sorry, the correct response was what is Viacom? The fifth category is eminent. The response is a name that starts with the letter M. Openly critical of the Congressional Budget Office, this man was tapped to run the Office of Management and Budget in 2017. It was Mnuchin. No, this is the Treasury Secretary. Sorry, the correct response was who is Mick Mulvaney. The next Jeopardy category is domain. In 1845, the U.S. annexed this republic, further expanding its domain. Repeat. Again, the category is domain. In 1845, the U.S. annexed this republic, further expanding its domain. What is Texas? Yes, that's correct. It's time for the double Jeopardy round. Our next category is Writers on the Storm. This Shakespeare play starts with a violent storm and shipwrecked characters. What is the Tempest? Excellent. Today's eighth category is Colonial America. The first Jewish synagogue in Colonial America opened in 1763 in this Rhode Island city. What is Providence? No, the correct response was what is Newport? The ninth Jeopardy category is stars. Most new stars are created from cold clouds made chiefly of dust in this gas. What is hydrogen? You're right. Our next Jeopardy category is pop music across the decades. 2002 became a big year for rapper Nelly and this Destiny's Child member when their collab, Dilemma, stayed at number one for 10 weeks. Who is Beyonce? That's not it. The correct response was who is Kelly Rowland? Our next Jeopardy category is to the lighthouse. Beyonce Gay Head Lighthouse. Answer is a popular attraction on this Massachusetts island. What is Martha's Vineyard? Fuck. That's not okay. it. The correct response was what is Martha's Vineyard? What? That's what Your I last said. Jeopardy category is all thumbs. The response includes the word thumb. A classic finger play nursery rhyme asks, where is this character? Who is Tom Thumb? Sorry, 
The correct response was who is Thumpkin. Let's see how you did. Good work. You got five clues correct today. You are in the top 30% of players who scored as well as you did today. You have one day to play from this week. Would you like to catch up on those clues?